This is a purchase order to uh, sales invoice question. So uh, we've got a purchase order here and we've got a sales invoice here uh, that we receive. And uh, so sales invoice from the supplier, purchase invoice for the, for the buyer, same document. And then we're going to highlight this discrepancy down here, four marks in here, but really we need to clear this in probably uh, two and a half minutes. So I'll be back in two and a half minutes to get that question done. Okay, so I come up to time time now. So here's the answer, really. Uh, in terms of term of payment, uh, terms of payment here, the agreed terms were three percent discount for payment between by the end of the month. And so that's by the end of the month here, and the terms here are net monthly. Now net monthly is is by the end of the following month. So if this was when was it 15th of April, so it would be 31st of of May uh, into that one. So that one's incorrectly shown in the invoice. Uh, the VAT rate. Is at 20%. It's not shown on the purchase order. It doesn't have to be in there. Uh, and in this assessment, uh, VAT was at 20%. Uh, in there. So uh, it's correctly shown in the invoice. The trade discount here. So we got a 5% a, a trade discount in here. It's not shown. So it's not shown in the invoice. Uh, really, a bit of a question on this one. Whether it's incorrectly shown because we've agreed a trade discount uh, in there. Or maybe we, we might be just trying it on. But anyway, it's not shown on the on the on the invoice within really here. And sometimes this is one way you just have to move on because you could have gone incorrectly shown in the invoice as well on on that one. It would have been sort of equally sort of uh, possible to have gone for gone for that one really. But just you know, I think that's the one. Not shown on there. Simplest answer really. And so that that would that would be the answer that you go for. If you went for that one, you know, but move on, really, and make sure you get you you, um, you get the answers, you know, you, you score your marks, and then quantities, 400 was ordered, and 450 was included on the invoice. So that's this reconciliation question. You see a lot of these these reconciliations between various documents. If you weren't watch chapter 13 to sort of see the flow, if you're struggling with those ones of who's the buyer and who's the seller and who's and what where they're going, that that one really sort of puts them all in order.